This is high. Holy! In this video, we will be embarking on a two-day scuba dive expedition journey to Samal Island, specifically the Kanabad Beach area. In this video, you will be coming along with my tita Melanie, her boyfriend Marlon, the whole crew and I on the four scuba dive journeys that we go on and everything else we experience during this expedition. Let's get to the boat. We are going to take off at 8 a.m. Yeah, we met. We just met. My nice to meet you. <laughs> I see you we on Facebook. We met underwater. Yeah, we met underwater. <laughs> Toby. Taking your course. One boat dive and then the e-learning. Let's see what you can do. Don't worry. You can dive with us. An instructor will go you. with you. When? Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. See, Earl. English? Dive boat yeah, English. Oh, Andrea. It's a problem. <laughs> Jim goes to different boats. Well, there is Guapo, I go there. <laughs> My GPS told me to be here. Oh, it's like Guapo here. Current. Go with the current. I have a balloon. We'll just deploy the balloon and the boat will just pick us up. Let's dive. Okay. I'll be able to monitor you also. Okay. <laughs> One big step. This was the first dive of the trip, but also my fourth dive ever as a scuba diver. My first dive ever, my intro dive, is part of the third video on the channel. I'll place a link to that right now as well as a link in the description box. I'm currently training for my open water scuba diving certification, so technically all the dives for this trip were quote unquote intro dives. I just learned how to control my buoyancy, aka not floating or sinking too fast, and trying to maintain weightlessness. So I was a bit nervous about that, but I trusted my training and the nervous feeling melted away. My immediate thought when I got into the water with the group is that I could feel everyone's scuba diving experience. Some people like Tita Melanie had cameras to capture tiny organisms called nudes and some just relax and enjoy the beautiful corals and fish also hoping to see a turtle or any larger oceanic life. We didn't see any on this dive but it was a great warm-up for what was to come. We then sailed to Kanabad Beach to rest a while before the second dive. Our second dive would take place here at Kanabad Beach, and it was an unexpected challenge. My control car, when we're diving, always stay closer to the wall. When you reach to the point where the current is, the current will bring us to the other side. The boat will just pick us up there. As much as possible, you have a reference. If you should see the wall, stay within your limit, staying close together. For the second dive, Wang, my dive master, knew that there was going to be a current and that was the surprising challenge of this dive. I've never done a dive with a current before. The current felt strong. At its strongest, all of us in the group were completely sideways and kicking was no longer required. I was surprised by the power of the current but I also remained calm in the moment and made sure my buoyancy was good and made sure I wouldn't crash into any corals. Scuba divers call dives like these drift dives where you enter the water in one location and the boat moves to where you will surface. After the dive, I was told that the current was strong at 4 to 5 knots, 6 miles an hour, or 9.7 kilometers an hour.
Training for this kind of dive can be done in advanced open water license courses. I'm looking forward to the formal training for this type of dive, but I'm thankful I had enough training in my open water license course to get me by. Towards the end of the dive, we made our safety stop to prepare to ascend. However, we had to take shelter from the current by getting closer to the wall of coral. Wang instructed us to hold on to the hard coral. I ended up holding onto a small piece of coral, and it was at this moment I was grateful for all of my forearm in grip training at the gym as we waited for him to deploy the balloon to signal our location to the boat. When it was time to ascend, Rika, Venus, Wang, and I did it together. This was an unforgettable dive. No kicking required. That was wild. After the second dive, we were starving and ready to eat. We bought some fresh caught fish from a fisherman on Samal Island and we cooked them on the boat. I then discovered that Canabad Beach had a cliff you could jump off of, but unfortunately I wasn't able to jump off of it, just fly around it that night. After dinner, we all sang karaoke and some of the divers decided to go for a night dive. And that concluded the first day of the expedition. Let's jump off that cliff. <laughs> Holy! Yeah, this is scary, dude! <laughs> Maximum depth around 30 meters, 45 to 1 hour dive, stay within the group always check your air. You guys ready? I think one of the coolest things about diving is that it brings together people from all different backgrounds from all around the world and you get to experience a different world together because when you dive you truly experience a different world it looks like something out of an alien movie but it's on earth as a kid i think i was like other kids where at one point they wanted to become an astronaut and i think that scuba diving does that for me where the weightlessness the otherworldliness of what you're seeing in front of you is something like from outer space and if i'm never going to become an astronaut at least i can get better at scuba diving and live out that childhood dream Diving from here, the shallow area is in our right. Stay within your limits, check your air always. Maximum dive around 15 or 16 meters. The last dive was the most eventful of the trip because we saw three turtles back to back to back and I was just so excited because for the first three dives I hadn't seen any bigger wildlife but we saw three turtles up close. You can see how I'm swimming behind this one here. I just wanted to get close, not touch it, but just get close and appreciate the beauty of these creatures that live at the bottom of the sea. I knew there were turtles in this area because on my first dive ever, I did see a turtle, but this entire trip, I hadn't seen a turtle until now. And it was just so amazing that we could see these turtles on the final dive. It 
it was time to go home but we decided to stop by the vanishing island where there was one last unexpected challenge. The pier. Salamat. Where we were going, it was towards the airport, so I couldn't land the drone back on the boat like I usually do. They literally wouldn't let me into the authorization zone. We had to leave the boat. I had to land the drone here on this dock, which is in a non-restricted zone. We're gonna pick it up now. I'm just happy that I didn't lose the drone. All right, let's grab it here. All right, we were able to get the drone back. What was your name? Elvin. Nice to meet you. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> the days following this trip, I caught myself thinking about the experiences I had, the people I met, and just living on the boat in general, the island life and exploration. I want to thank Tita Melanie for inviting me on this trip and everyone on this trip that made it so memorable. The theme song of this trip for me was Younger, the Kaigo remix by Sainabo Se. If you want to listen to that and imagine you're on the boat with us, that's a way you can be a part of this expedition too. I hope you enjoyed the video.